Hello aviators, welcome back to The Finer Points. In this video we're going to talk about rudder usage. How do you get good at using the rudder? Now really when you think about it, if you back the camera off, in flight training there aren't that many things we're trying to teach you about rudder. Uh, we're trying to teach you to use coordinated inputs, that's rudder and aileron together when you roll into and out of banks. We're trying to teach you to use rudder when you add power, and we're trying to teach you to use rudder when you fly slow. But still, even as I fly with some of my students, I'm frustrated by how hard it is to sort of make this a fundamental part of the way they fly. Now, if you have access to a tailwheel airplane, uh, there will be nothing better for your rudder skills than flying some tailwheels, so getting a tailwheel endorsement or doing your training in a tailwheel aircraft. However, not all of us have access to a tailwheel airplane. So in this video, I'm gonna give you two suggestions. Uh, these are things that I used with my student just last week. Try just flying with your feet, okay? Take one lesson to fly with your feet. In this case, you'll see uh, Jesse and I, we cover the flight instruments and I tell him to, to trim the airplane up and take his hands off the yoke. Now we would never normally fly this way. It is absolutely a skill building exercise, but we can use the secondary effect of the rudder to yaw and and roll the airplane, and we can practice rolling into and coming out of banks. Why don't we just try flying with our feet for a second? So just okay. let go of the yoke all together. Okay. And let's play with the secondary effects of rudder. Okay. So if you push on a rudder, the like like if you yaw to the right, the first effect is that we yaw. The second effect is that we roll. You uh, see that? Yeah, it's starting to come up. It's starting to come up. Good. Okay. Now you can also pick up the left wing in the same or the right wing in the same way. Just hit the other rudder. There you go. So you've got full bank control with your feet right now. Uh huh. All right. We're just kind of ex just playing with this, just to get okay. you comfortable. Um, all right, so let's go into like a banking turn to the left. Okay. So just using rudder only. Okay. So just don't touch the yoke. We're just gonna get there. You go. You won't fly this way because it makes the backseat passengers sick. Now, as you lose a little bit of that vertical lift, we're uh -huh. starting to descend a little bit, yep. right? Now you can stop this by what did I say before? Put your lift back into space. Yep. So oh, just right. use opposite rudder, and if you have to whack at it for just stomp on it for a second to get the effect to happen. Beautiful. Okay, so when you come out of that bank and your lift is back in space, the aircraft will climb briefly. And this is where you're going to see the positive longitudinal stability. The initial tendency is to return back to where we came from. So we'll climb initially and then we'll descend. So that is the static, positive static stability. And then over time, those oscillations should dampen out. And that is the positive dynamic stability. A great reminder, and this is what it looks like in practice. Okay. Now you've got your lift back in space. Yep. The airplane climbs for a second, but ultimately it will stabilize at whatever pitch and power because it's got positive dynamics to gotcha. go. Gotcha. Right? Okay, yeah. Cool, it's all coming together. Yep. Good. Um, Although we're now, we're now descending. That's right, watch, it'll come back. So okay. it's, it gets into that dynamic where the oscillations just dampen out over time. Here comes the nose back up again. Oh, wow. Okay. And pretty okay. soon, over time, this is a stable airplane. Uh -huh. It'll stabilize back exactly where you had it for pitch and power. Now the second thing you can do is another skill building exercise and both of these are just designed to kind of release the feet and make them part of the equation. Try falling leaf stalls. In this case, you'll see that we're in a clean configuration. Uh, that is so that we can get the nose up high so that I can give Jesse the proper uh, sight picture, the good reference points to look at to keep the wings level. Then I just pull the aircraft into a stall and hold it there and ask him to use his feet to keep the wings level. So if a wing falls, there's he's not touching the yoke, so there's no aileron, just push top rudder. That is, in this case, if the right wing falls, left rudder, and swing that right wing through the air to get the airflow and the dihedral working and pick the wing back up till the wings are level. Let me give you another one to do yeah. with your feet, okay? So this time, I'm just gonna pull the airplane into a straight ahead stall. Okay. I'm just gonna hold it there. And we're just gonna be in what's called a falling leaf stall. Have you done this with me? No. Okay. So we're just going to be like in a stall held there and you are going to be looking at your Lindbergh reference just using gentle rudder inputs the way you were just doing uh -huh. to keep the aircraft, uh, to prevent us from spinning or rolling over or anything, right? You just, not, there's no left turning tendencies with the power all the way out. So it should do nothing except go straight ahead. Once we stall, you'll, we'll see where we are. Okay. And there's the stall warning horn. Yeah, there's a stall, so we're stalled. No, no real hard pushes, because uh. we're stalled, so the plane's not fully aerodynamic. 
I mean, in some of the wings not flying. I feel it a little bit. Right, but if you need to pick up that, if that left wing starts to go down, it's rudder that's controlling your wings in the stall. Yeah, and I let off there just to see what it would do. Good. All right, aviators, hopefully those two exercises help you get better at making good rudder usage part of your foundation. I think we can all use that. And if you have access to a tailwheel, go do it. Uh, in the meantime, these are things you can work on in any aircraft. If you want to see the Finer Points syllabus, remember it is freely available to everybody in the resources tab of the Ground School app. You do not have to pay to access that syllabus, uh, but you can always get a free three-day trial so you can see all the good stuff we have going on inside uh, this proficiency and training tool. If money's a little tight, just go to pilotroadmap.com and you can get a free PDF with tips like this on how to be more effective and more efficient in training. Please leave a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. But most importantly, until I see you again, be safe and fly your best.